Chapter 8 Bruno goes exploring Theme Historical fiction Kick start This passage an extract from the book The boy in the stripped pajamas is set during World War 2 in Nazi Germany It is about a 9 year old boy Bruno whose life changes completely when his family moves from the city of Berlin to the countryside. He is too young to realize that his father is a high-ranking Nazi official who works in the dreaded Auschwitz concentration camp for Jews. The book is about Bruno's friendship with a Jewish boy of his own age who lives in the camp. In this extract Bruno starts to settle down in his new home but lonely and bored he decides to explore his surroundings including the camp where he has been forbidden to go Nothing changed for quite a while at Outwith Bruno still had to put up with his sister Gretel being less than friendly to him whenever she was in a bad mood and he still wished that he could go back home to berlin although the memories of that place were beginning to fade the soldiers still came and went every day of the week holding meetings in father's office which was still out of bounds at all times and no exceptions the servants still came and washed things and swept things and cooked things and cleaned things and served things and took things away and kept their mouths shut unless they were spoken to but then things changed father decided it was time for the children to return to their studies and although it seemed ridiculous to bruno that school should take place when there were only two students to teach but mother and father agreed that a tutor should come to the house every day and fill their mornings and afternoons with lessons a few mornings later a man called her lists rattled up the driveway on his bone shaker and it was time for school again her lists was a mystery to bruno Although he was friendly enough most of the time never raising his hand to him like his old teacher in Berlin had done some something in his eyes made Bruno feel there was anger inside him just waiting to get out her list was particularly fond of history and geography while Bruno preferred reading and art those things are useless to you insisted the teacher a sound understanding of the social sciences is far more important in this day and age but aren't books important asked bruno books about things that matter in the world of course explained her list but not story books not books about things that never happened how much do you know of your history anyway young man Well I know I was born on April the 15th 1934 said Bruno Not your own personal history interrupted her list I mean the history of who you are where you come from your family's heritage the fatherland Bruno frowned He wasn't entirely sure that father had any land because although the house in Berlin was large and comfortable there wasn't very much garden space around it and he was old enough to know that out with did not belong to them despite all the land there not very much he admitted finally although i know quite a bit about the middle ages i like stories about knights and adventure and exploring her list shook his head angrily then this is what i am here to change he said in a sinister voice to get your head out of your story books and teach you more about where you come from about the great wrongs that have had been done to you bruno nodded and felt quite pleased as he assumed 
that he would finally be given an explanation for why they had all been forced to leave their comfortable home and come to this terrible place which must have been the greatest wrong ever committed to him in his short life sitting alone in his room a few days later bruno started thinking about all the things he liked to do at home that he hadn't been able to do since he had come out to out with most of them came about because he no longer had any friends to play with but there was one thing that he was able to do on his own he had done it all the time back in berlin and that was exploring when i was a child bruno said to himself i used to enjoy exploring i have never really done any exploring here perhaps it's time to start bruno jumped off his bed and rummaged in his wardrobe for an overcoat and an old pair of boots the kinds of clothes he thought a real explorer might wear and prepared to leave the house for months now bruno had been looking out of his bedroom window at the garden and the bench with the plaque on it the tall fence and the wooden telegraph poles and all the other things he had written to grandmother about in his most recent letter and as often as he had watched the people all the different kinds of people in their stripped pajamas it had never really occurred to him to wonder what it was all about it was as if it were another city entirely the people all living and working together side by side with the house where he lived and were they really so different all the people in the camp wore the same clothes those pajamas and their stripped cloth caps too and all the people who wandered through his house wore uniforms with bright red and black armbands and carried guns and always looked terribly stern as if it were all very important really and no one should think otherwise what exactly was the difference he wondered to himself at who decided which people wore the stripped pajamas and which people wore the uniforms of course sometimes the two groups mixed he had often seen the people from his side of the fence on the other side and it was clear that they were in charge the pajama people all jumped to attention whenever the soldiers approached and sometimes they fell to the ground and sometimes they didn't even get up and had to be carried away instead it's funny that i have never wondered about those people bruno thought and it's funny that when you think of all the times the soldiers go over there and he had even seen father go over there on many occasions that none of the stripped pajama people had ever been invited back to the house leaving the house bruno went round the back and looked up towards his own bedroom window he looked as far as to his right as he could see and the tall fence seemed to carry on in the sunlight and he was glad that it did because it meant that he didn't know what was up ahead and he could walk and find out and that was what exploration was all about after all before heading off in that direction though there was one final thing to investigate and that was the bench all these months he had been looking at it and staring at the plaque from a distance and calling it the bench with the plaque but he still had no idea what it said looking left and right to make sure that no one was coming he ran over to it and squinted as he read the words it was only a small bronze plaque and bruno read it quietly to himself presented on the occasion of the opening of he hesitated out with camp he continued stumbling over the name as usual june 1940 he reached out and touched it for a moment and the bronze was very cold so he pulled his fingers away before taking a deep breath and beginning his journey 
the one thing bruno tried not to think about was that he had been told on countless occasions by both mother and father that he was not allowed to walk in this direction that he was not allowed anywhere near the fence or the camp and most particularly that exploration was banned at outwith with no exceptions john boyne